Hi guys and welcome to your full body class. Today's class will be primarily on a reformer. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, for this next segment guys, I want you to grab your reformers and I want you to incline them round about the middle. If you feel a little bit stronger, you can go a little bit higher. We want to be roughly round about the middle as far as the incline is concerned. So I'm just going to lie down. I'm going to keep my arms in a nice soft straight position. My head's nicely rested. From here, I'm just going to pull straight down by my side and I'm going to come back and I'm creating just an acute triangle. Nice and steady. I'm not hitting the bottom of the carriage. Okay, you guys, we're starting with our pullovers. Good, so you guys can see two different methods. Marilyn's got her hands in front of her and she's finishing just out of her stomach, whereas Sarah's bringing it, driving it through to the sides. They're both good techniques, they both work. As long as the arms are soft, straight, nice steady movement, they're both getting the right exercise in. Keep pushing through, you guys are doing really well. You can see a good range of motion, but they're not hitting the bottom at the reformer's end. Now I'm going to adjust your one slightly, Sarah. As you come down, I'm going to get you to go back up, hands together, get that acute triangle happening, just like that. Seconds, two, one, and rest. You can just rest on the carriage. I'm going to bring my hands across to my chest. I'm going to work from here. So this is just like a crunch you do at home except it's got about 30% of your body weight on it. Just pushing through, tense, and pick it back up. Your turn. Put your hands across your chest. We're gonna work our super crunches from here, go. So you can see the head's resting as it comes down. And then we're going to look straight up and we're going to work those crunches. Keep working, you're doing a good job. You've got 20 seconds to go. Let's keep pushing. Yes. Squeeze right through. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay you guys, we're starting with our pullovers. Good, so you guys can see two different methods. Marilyn's got her hands in front of her and she's finishing just out of her stomach. Whereas Sarah's bringing it, driving it through to the sides. They're both good techniques. They both work. As long as the arms are soft, straight, nice steady movement, they're both getting the right exercise in. Keep pushing through, you guys are doing really well. You can see a good range of motion, but they're not hitting the bottom at the reformer's end. Now I'm gonna adjust your one slightly, Sarah. As you come down, I'm gonna get you to go back up, hands together, get that acute triangle happening, just like that. Seconds, two, one, and rest. Put your hands across your chest. We're gonna work our super crunches from here, go. So you can see the head's resting as it comes down and then we're going to look straight up and we're going to work those crunches. Keep working, you're doing a good job, you've got 20 seconds to go. Let's keep pushing. Yes. Squeeze right through. Three two, one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay you guys, we're starting with our pullovers. Good, so you guys can see two different methods. Marilyn's got her hands in front of her and she's finishing just out of her stomach. Whereas Sarah's bringing it, driving it through to the sides. They're both good techniques, they both work. As long as the arms are soft, straight, Nice steady movement, they're both getting the right exercise in. Keep pushing through, you guys are doing really well. 
You can see a good range of motion, but they're not hitting the bottom at the reformer's end. Now I'm going to adjust your one slightly, Sarah. As you come down, I'm going to get you to go back up, hands together, get that acute triangle happening, just like that. Seconds, two, one, and rest. Put your hands across your chest. We're going to work our super crunches from here. Go. So you can see the head's resting as it comes down. And then we're going to look straight up and we're going to work those crunches. Keep working, you're doing a good job. You've got 20 seconds to go. Let's keep pushing. Yes. Squeeze right through. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, for this exercise, we're on the reformer. We're using our soft cables this time. So I'm going to put my feet on the push board. And I'm going to wear these like sleeves, just like that. I'm going to clasp my hands together and put them on the back of my head, just like that. So from here, I'm going to crunch. I'm going to try and connect my knee with my opposite elbow, just like that. You can see I'm resting. As I go back, my head rests on the board and we're switching them up, getting that twist, working the obliques and working the serratus muscle as well. Ready, you guys? Let's do it. So let's wear those sleeves. Clasp your fingers together behind the back of your head and feet on the tabletop. Let's work from there. Go. Perfect. And see if you can get the elbow and the knee to connect together. There you go. Just like that. Working right through. Now if you were to slide slightly lower on your carriage, you can actually get your head to rest as you go back. This is going to be a lot more comfortable. Keep going through it. Work through it. That's it. Now do you want to slide down a little bit from this one, from this position, Sarah? Go. There you go. Let's go. You can rest. So using our reformer for the next exercise, we're going to hang on to our uh, soft cables. I want to work our oblique tilts. I want you guys to watch me. So I'm going to lie down and I'm going to wear my sleeves and clasp my hands together and put them in the back of my head. Now you can see my head's rested from here and I'm, all I'm going to do from here is tilt to the side. Squeeze and back. Squeeze and back. You can see I'm not going up. I'm staying nice and flat. So it's a crunch but on your obliques, not on your abdominals. Just like that. It's your turn. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our oblique tilts. Good, squeeze them right through, perfect. Keep that nice and lateral. So we don't wanna lift up on those at all. You wanna stay lateral the whole way. You're making a small letter C. Perfect, just like that. You wanna try and get your elbow to your hip bone. Keep working, we've got about 20 seconds to go on this one. Good, let's try and keep those elbows as flat as we can. Perfect. There you go, just like that. Five seconds to go. And you guys are done, well done. Okay hey guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. So let's wear those sleeves. Clasp your fingers together behind the back of your head and feet on the tabletop. Let's work from there. Go. Perfect. And see if you can get the elbow and the knee to connect together. There you go. Just like that. Working right through. Now if you were to slide slightly lower on your carriage, you can actually get your head to rest as you go back. This is going to be a lot more comfortable. Keep going through it. Work through it. That's it. 
Now, do you want to slide down a little bit from this one, from this position, Sarah? Go. There you go. Let's go. You can rest. Okay, so we're going to start off with our oblique tilts. Good, squeeze them right through. Perfect. Keep that nice and lateral. So we don't want to lift up on those at all. You want to stay lateral the whole way. You're making a small letter C. Perfect. Just like that. You want to try and get your elbow to your hip bone. Let's keep working. We've got about 20 seconds to go on this one. Good. Let's try and keep those elbows as flat as we can. Perfect. There you go. Just like that. Five seconds to go. And you guys are done, well done. Okay, we're gonna use our reformer for this exercise and we're on our trapeze cables. We're gonna do a 12 o'clock, three o'clock from a high position. I'm gonna show you guys. So, my head's in the nook. I'm gonna pop my straps on. One and two. And I'm gonna go, hold onto my rails from here and go right up into a 12 o'clock. So I'm nice and high on this one. Now I've gotta keep myself balanced as I drop down to my three o'clock right there. Okay? And back to 12 o'clock. We're gonna work one side first, okay? And after 45 seconds, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna work the other side. Just like that. Work those 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, guys. Go this side first. Perfect. Try not to hit me in the face with it. Just the one side, so we're just working this side first. Just like that. Good. And you want to try and keep your hip high the whole time on this exercise. Good, just like that, Marilyn. Perfect. Keep working through. Got to make sure these cables stay tight the whole time. Press against it. And if you're pressing up against this cable, it's going to help keep you lifted as well. Five seconds to go. And change to the other side. Go. So we're getting to that three o'clock. Squeezing your adductors and bringing it back to 12 o'clock. Perfect. Now you'll have a tendency to drop your hip as you start to get tired. We're not going to do that. You can see Marilyn's keeping her hip perfectly straight. She's just about got a straight line between her shoulder and her ankle, which is perfect. Ten seconds to go. Good. And return it and rest. Okay, for this exercise, guys, we're using our reformer and we're using our trapeze cables. I'm gonna lie down, I'm gonna get myself into position. So I'm going right up to a high 12 o'clock to a pin. And I'm gonna drop down into a Y, create a circle, and come back. It looks like an infinity symbol, just like that. You guys ready to try this for yourselves? Ready or not, it's your turn. I'm gonna circle out, come back, and there you go. Just like that. Lift, bring it down. You can take your time, you can go a little bit slower than that now. Perfect, nice controlled movement. Very good, drop it down, and lift it back up. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep it controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises.
Work no 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, guys. Go this side first. Perfect. Try not to hit me in the face with it. Just the one side, so we're just working this side first. Just like that. Good. You want to try and keep your hip high the whole time on this exercise. Good, just like that, Marilyn. Perfect. Keep working through. Got to make sure this table stays tight the whole time. Press against it. And if you're pressing up against this table, it's going to help keep you lifted as well. Five seconds to go. And change to the other side. Go. So we're getting to that three o'clock, squeezing your adductors and bringing it back to 12 o'clock. Perfect. Now you'll have a tendency to drop your hip as you start to get tired. We're not going to do that. You can see Marilyn's keeping her hip perfectly straight. She's just about got a straight line between her shoulder and her ankle, which is perfect. Ten seconds to go. Good. And return it and rest. I'm gonna circle out, come back, and there you go. Just like that. Lift, bring it down. You can take your time, you can go a little bit slower than that mountain. Perfect. Nice controlled movement. Very good. Drop it down and lift it back up. Good form. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep it controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. So from here, I'm gonna go into a narrow grip. From here, I'm just gonna work my chin-ups, keep those elbows in, and working those lats. Just like that. Your turn. Alright, you guys ready to start with your chin-ups? Let's go. Go from there. Now I'm gonna get you to pull your knees right. Yeah. Just like that. Knees together, feet right up. Let's work. We wanna go a narrow grip. So Marilyn, I'm gonna get you to change your grip. I'm gonna get you to go palm to palm. So we're gonna go this way. And let's work from there. All the way out. Make sure you're getting that stretch as you do it. And we're gonna bring it, drive it right through, go past your tower. Perfect. We've got 15 seconds to go. Good, nice form. Making sure you're getting that stretch and you're pulling up. Go as far as you can go. Stretch right out. Five seconds left before we change them up. And you're done. Relax. So for this exercise, we're gonna use our reformer. I'm gonna work my triceps. I'm gonna grab my heart cords from from the outside, and I'm gonna make sure my elbows are by my side. I'm gonna pull straight through, driving straight through with no movement in the elbows, just like that. I'm gonna get you guys to try it now. Work your way to the bottom. Minimal stoppage, guys. We wanna keep going. Let's go. Good job, we've only got 30 seconds left on this one. Make sure you're managing your form. You want to make sure your elbows are tucked in by your side. Now during this exercise, you're also going to have the tendency to bend your wrist. So as you drop it back, make sure that wrist is nice and straight. 10 seconds to go, last 10 seconds. Push guys, push. Let's go David, show me what you got. Last one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. 
All right, you guys ready to start with your chin-ups? Let's go. Go from there. Now I'm gonna get you to pull your knees right, yeah. Just like that, knees together, feet right up. Let's work. We wanna go on narrow grip. So Marilyn, I'm gonna get you to change your grip. I'm gonna get you to go palm to palm. So we're gonna go this way. And let's work from there. All the way out. Make sure you're getting that stretch as you do it. And we're gonna bring it, drive it right through. Go past your tower. Perfect. We've got 15 seconds to go. Good, nice form. Making sure you're getting that stretch and you're pulling up. Go as far as you can go. Stretch right out. Five seconds left before we change them up. And you're done. Relax. Work your way to the bottom. Minimal stoppage, guys. We want to keep going. Let's go. Job. We've only got 30 seconds left on this one. Make sure you're managing your form. You want to make sure your elbows are tucked in by your side. Now during this exercise, you're also going to have the tendency to bend your wrist. So as you drop it back, make sure that wrist is nice and straight. 10 seconds to go. Last 10 seconds. Push guys, push. Let's go David. Show me what you got. Last one, and rest. I'm gonna hold on to my T-bar now. If you're more comfortable holding it this way, that's okay as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my back extensions from here by raising my legs, lifting straight up and straight down. Straight up and straight down. Now when you do this exercise, it's really important to keep your knees straight so your thighs are lifting straight off the board when you do it. Your turn. Extend your arms now, hold that position. We're gonna go straight into those back extensions, go. Perfect, I'm gonna draw your attention to Marilyn. See how she's got her knees perfectly straight. So the entire tension is here and in the glutes as well. Perfect form you guys. Now as you start to tire, you're gonna to wanna to bend those knees but we're gonna make sure they stay straight the whole time. We've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Relax. Using my reformer for this next exercise, I want you guys to watch me. I'm gonna go straight into a plank. Now the way I'm gonna do it, is I'm gonna make a triangle with my elbows and my hand. Nice, sturdy like that. I'm gonna lift from the top and I'm gonna hold my plank in place just like that. Now you wanna make sure if your bum's lifted, you're not really doing anything there. And if it's too far down, there's too much pressure on your lower back. So you wanna try and keep it nice and still. I'm gonna keep that position. Your turn. Let's hit that plank, guys. Let's go. Good, now you can see David's got his legs at just about shoulder width, slightly apart. It's okay to do it that way. If you wanna keep your feet together, that's fine too. I'm gonna to make a small adjustment for you, Sarah. I'm gonna actually lift your foot and bring it slightly higher. There you go, does that feel more stable now? Perfect, and we're holding the perfect line. Let's maintain that. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep holding. If you start to shake like David's shaking, not a problem, you're doing it right. It's hitting all the right spots. 10 seconds to go. Keep holding, five more seconds. Two, one, you can rest now. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Extend your arms now, hold that position. We're gonna go straight into those back extensions, go. Perfect. I'm gonna draw your attention to Marilyn. See how she's got her knees perfectly straight. So the entire tension is here and in the glutes as well. Perfect form, you guys. Now, as you start to tire, you're gonna to wanna to bend those knees, but we're gonna make sure they stay straight the whole time. We've got 10 seconds to go. 
five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Relax. Let's hit that plank, guys. Let's go. Good, now you can see David's got his legs at just about shoulder width, slightly apart. It's okay to do it that way. If you wanna keep your feet together, that's fine too. I'm gonna to make a small adjustment for you, Sarah. I'm gonna actually lift your foot and bring it slightly higher. There you go, does that feel more stable now? Perfect, and we're holding the perfect line. Let's maintain that. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep holding. If you start to shake like David's shaking, not a problem, you're doing it right. It's hitting all the right spots. 10 seconds to go. Keep holding. Five more seconds. Two, one, you can rest now. For this exercise, we're using our reformer. We're gonna use our soft cables. So watch me here. I'm gonna sit down in my press position. So right out here into a T and driving straight forward. Just like that. Now I'm gonna make sure I don't overdo this technique. I don't wanna to put too much pressure on my rotator cuff. I wanna try and keep it central, working through the chest, just like that. Your turn. Open them right up into a T and straight out, just like that. I'm gonna use my breathing to help me. So I'm exerting when the pressure comes on. So, just like that. Let's try and time this one together. Working straight through, we've got 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, for this next exercise, we're gonna use our reformer in a seated position and using our soft cables. We're gonna work the abdominals. I'm gonna show you how. So from here, I'm gonna sit nice and comfortably, nice and straight. My hands are resting on my chest. Now I wanna make sure that I'm not using my hands and creating pressure on my elbows. I just wanna keep these nicely rested. And from here, I'm just gonna work through Work a full crunch. I'm gonna go as far as I can go, but I'm gonna keep my back nice and straight throughout this technique. Your turn. Okay, let's start with those seated full crunches, guys. Good, let's see if we can push a little bit further down. Perfect. Nice, steady movement. As you come back, you're using your lower back to keep you in place. There you go. You're holding yourself up. So we're using your abdominals, but we're using the lumbar region as well, strengthening both sides at the same time. Ten seconds to go. You guys are doing really well. Perfect form, both of you. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Open them right up into a T and straight out, just like that. I'm gonna use my breathing to help me. So I'm exerting when the pressure comes on, so. Just like that. Try and time this one together. Working straight through, we've got 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's start with those seated full crunches, guys. Good, let's see if we can push a little bit further down. Perfect. Nice, steady movement. As you come back, you're using your lower back to keep you in place, there you go. You're holding yourself up. So we're using your abdominals, but we're using the lumbar region as well, 
strengthening both sides at the same time. Ten seconds to go, you guys are doing really well. Perfect form, both of you. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Open them right up into a T and straight out, just like that. I'm gonna use my breathing to help me. So I'm exerting when the pressure comes on. So. Just like that. Let's try and time this one together. Working straight through, we've got 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's start with those seated full crunches, guys. Good, let's see if we can push a little bit further down. Perfect. Nice, steady movement. As you come back, you're using your lower back to keep you in place. There you go. You're holding yourself up. So we're using your abdominals, but we're using the lumbar region as well, strengthening both sides at the same time. Ten seconds to go, you guys are doing really well. Perfect form, both of you. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so using our reformer, we're gonna work through our leg presses, but this time around, we're gonna do it with one leg. So I want you guys to watch. So one leg, either in a pistol position or a tabletop position, whichever one you're comfortable with. I like to hold the pistol position. I'm gonna press from here. You can rest your head if you like. Full range, but I'm not hitting the bottom of the reformer. Just like that. We're gonna switch legs, and we're gonna work the other side for the next set of 45 seconds. Okay, let's go guys. So single leg presses. You can see the feet are about halfway up the push board, so we can push clean with the heels. Good, and you can see Josh is holding a pistol position with his other leg. Just means his knee's nice and straight. He doesn't have to worry about that leg. David's doing a tabletop. We're just gonna correct it a little. We're gonna keep it here, perfect. So I've gotta be able to rest my co coffee cup on that. Let's work through. We've got 15 seconds to go on this exercise. Nice steady movement, good job. Five seconds to go. And change, onto the fresh leg and go. Good, let's keep them going. Good job, so you can see the guys are going, getting into a straight, a soft straight position, which means you're not locking up your knees. It's straight, but it's not locked up. You want to protect those highland cartilages. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep pressing. Keep them tight. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so using our reformer, we're going to work through our stiletto presses as well, but this time around, we're going to do it with one leg. So I want you guys to watch. I'm going to go onto the ball of the foot, and I'm going to press from here. Just like that. Onto the ball of the foot, or the stiletto press if you like. Just like that.
Good, your legs are gonna start to get a little bit tired now because you've been using the same, same leg. You're gonna be doing it for a minute and a half. Let's keep working. We've got 20 seconds to go on this one. Good, push them right out. Keep that pace, keep the pace up. We've got five seconds to go, and then we're gonna go on to the fresh leg. Four, three, two, one. Change over, onto the fresh leg, and go. Good form, you wanna try and keep your heels as far off the board as you can for this one. You'll feel your calves getting engaged as you're doing the exercise. Keep them going. We've got 15 seconds to go. Press hard. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's go guys. So single leg presses. You can see the feet are about halfway up the push board, so we can push clean with the heels. Good, and you can see Josh is holding a pistol position with his other leg. Just means his knee's nice and straight. He doesn't have to worry about that leg. David's doing a tabletop. We're just gonna correct it a little. We're gonna keep it here, perfect. So I've gotta be able to rest my co coffee cup on that. Let's work through. We've got 15 seconds to go on this exercise. Nice steady movement, good job. Five seconds to go. And change. Onto the fresh leg and go. Good, let's keep them going. Good job, so you can see the guys are going, getting into a straight, a soft straight position which means you're not locking up your knees. It's straight but it's not locked up. You want to protect those highland cartilages. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep pressing. Keep them tight. Three, two, one and rest. Onto the ball of the foot, or the stiletto press if you like. Just like that. Good, your legs are gonna start to get a little bit tired now because you've been using the same, same leg. You're gonna be doing it for a minute and a half. Let's keep working. We've got 20 seconds to go on this one. Good, push them right out. Keep that pace, keep the pace up. We've got five seconds to go, and then we're gonna go on to the fresh leg. Four, three, two, one. Change over, onto the fresh leg, and go. Good form, you wanna try and keep your heels as far off the board as you can for this one. You'll feel your calves getting engaged as you're doing the exercise. Keep them going. We've got 15 seconds to go. Press hard. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done guys, you got through your exercises for this session. I'd like you guys to turn your attention to your in-house instructor who's gonna give you three minutes worth of stretches now.
Well done, you guys. You got through your session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys can assist us by wiping down your reformers just before you go. Thanks very much. Marking.